So I'm here to review the paper by Lipscomb uh, et al. titled Intubation Rates Following Pre-Hospital Administration of Ketamine for Acute Agitation, a systematic review and meta-analysis. Um, as we see, ketamine is being used more frequently in the pre-hospital setting control agitation, uh, especially in the setting of uh, excited delirium uh, drugs such as methamphetamine, place patients at risk for uh, excited delirium. This often becomes a safety issue for the pre-hospital medics uh, when they're attempting to transport these patients. Uh, and given the known safety uh, profile of ketamine, the rapid onset has become a favored drug for enabling uh, safe transport and safety evaluation of these patients. Um, if they reviewed uh, 1,400 abstracts, they found 18 papers that met inclusion. Um, all of these studies uh, were observational in nature. Uh, they had an aggregate of 3,476 patients in total for the meta-analysis. Uh, they had an overall intubation rate of 16%. Uh, most of the intubations happened in the emergency department. Uh, the pre-hospital intubation rates ranged anywhere from 0% to 7.9%. Uh, the emergency department intubation rates ranged anywhere from 0% to 60%. Uh, the overall pooled emergency department intubation rate was 19%. Uh, the most common indication was uh, documented as airway protection or respiratory depression. Uh, so I think the take-home point for this is that this is a known risk after administration of this medication. Uh, and pre-hospital personnel should be aware of this when they give this drug for this indication. Um, and should closely monitor the airway status for potential intervention, as it does appear to be a somewhat frequent event. Uh, additionally, this you know carries over to the emergency department, uh, you know, with a thorough evaluation of their airway status uh, upon arrival.